So the Football Association of Ireland Coach Education Pathway 2017 to 2020 is based on three key areas. First, the alignment of the coach education pathway with the player development plan. Secondly, the introduction of reality-based learning through age-specific courses. And thirdly, the competency model based on skills, attitude and knowledge in which every coaching course has an entry and exit competency that coaches will have to meet. To enter the coach education pathway, Based upon 2017, coaches will be required to have their Garda vetting and their child welfare course completed. In the event that a coach is entering a coaching course in the process of awaiting Garda vetting and or awaiting to complete the child welfare, the coach will be allowed to complete the coaching course but will not allow for certification until they've completed both the Garda vetting and child welfare. We are moving towards in 2020 the coaches will not be able to enter the coach education pathway unless they have the child welfare and the Garda vetting already completed. Coach education in Ireland will now see coaches entering at age specific levels, i.e., a coach working with six to nine year olds will enter at the Kickstart 1 PDP 1, the PDP standing for Player Development Plan. If a coach was working with six to nine year olds, they would focus on entry on this point and working towards the following pathway, i.e., continuing on to the 9 to 12 year olds coaching course, which is Kickstart 2, PDP 2, and or in the reality of working in the youth game, PDP 3 youth, and or progressing to the adult intro game. This pathway will allow then for that coach, if they systematically went through the pathway at Kickstart 1, Kickstart 2, PDP 3, adult intro, to work towards the elite grassroots course. The, the elite grassroots coach would be a coach who has completed 100 hours of grassroots coach education. An example of this being a coach entering now in the reality of having their guard of vetting, child welfare, and entering into the adult intro game where they're coaching in the adult game would see themselves completing three hours at child welfare, 24 hours in an adult intro amounting to 27 hours. The target for them to progress into the high licensing pathway here will be to complete 40 grassroots hours throughout this grassroots calendar of coach education. They would achieve this by completing additional workshops. In the workshop section here, you'll see workshops in bold, which identifies multiple workshops, but there are also specialized workshops that are here for specialized areas for CPD and also in the area of psychology, exercise and fitness, strength and conditioning, and multiple other workshops. In the pathway visual, you'll see the futsal intro, strength and conditioning, 4v4, 7v7 small sided games, and the fundamentals of goalkeeping as key core workshops that we would encourage coaches at the grassroots pathway to progress to account for the hours. So in the situation of the adult coach who has completed three hours child welfare, 24 hours under adult intro, they would complete the fundamentals of goalkeeping which would be eight hours. This would then see them having five hours to complete the 40 required hours to be allowed to go on to the national D license. They could complete that through the 4v4 and 7v7 and our strength and conditioning futsal intro or any other workshop which would amalgamate them to the five hours required. Each of these workshops here are identified as three and four hour workshops. Once the coach has completed 40 grassroots hours, the progress routes available to them are as follows. One, they stay within the grassroots pathway here and continue to do age-specific courses and our workshops and work towards the elite grassroots coach. The second option available to them would be that they would try and transition into the elite section of the game and this would be here with the first National D license. So on entry to the National D license, a coach would be required to have their guard of vetting, child welfare and 40 hours of grassroots coach education. Once completing the National D license, a coach will then be allowed to transition into the National C license course. After the National C license, a coach will be given a competency exit level and identified a certain length of time that they must work as a C license holder before entry to UEFA B license coaching course. The UEFA B license course is delivered over 12 months and once a coach completes the UEFA B license, UEFA mandates that a minimum of 12 months must be passed before they can continue on towards the UEFA license. Due to the competency model, a coach completing a UEFA B license will be given the specific recommendation of 12 months from UEFA, but also identified a certain time period from the coach educational tutor that they believe they need to work. For example, a coach could be advised to work for 15, 18, 24, 36 months based upon the competency level they've shown in the course. 
once a coach then completes and is ready to enter the UEFA license course, this is the final coaching license to work at the highest level in coaching in world football. Once a coach completes the UEFA license, again, UEFA mandates that they must wait a minimum of 12 months before progressing into the UEFA Pro license course. The UEFA license coach would have two options once they have the 12 months eligibility completed. They can progress into the UEFA Pro license, the UEFA Pro license is the highest coaching license in world football and this co coaching course is designed based on working in the elite game i.e. working in the Premier Division as a manager in any country in European football or world football. The UEFA license coach also has a second option in which they can progress to the UEFA Youth Elite A license and this is based around becoming an academy manager or head of youth development. This is specifically relevant in Ireland with the introduction of this course into the licensing pathway for the 2018 season where in Ireland Air Tricity League clubs will have a U19s, U17s, U15s and U13s in the near future and each of these clubs will be required to have an academy director or head of youth development to manage these courses. Additionally to this, the Football Association of Ireland have introduced specialised coaching pathways i.e. in your futsal pathway and in your goalkeeping pathway. Within the futsal pathway, the first introduction to futsal will be the completion of the futsal intro course, which is a four hour workshop program. Then from that, you would have the completion of the futsal D license, the futsal C license, and then completing the UEFA futsal B license. The aim being that in 2017, the futsal D and C will be available to coaches in Ireland, and the UEFA futsal B license being available from 2018. Outside of this, the fundamentals of goalkeeping will be the entry point for the goalkeeping pathway, with the coach then being eligible to enter a goalkeeping D licence, progressing to the goalkeeping C licence, and then on to the goalkeeping B licence. In 2017, there are over 12 goalkeeping D licences, 8 goalkeeping C licences, and 2 goalkeeping B licences planned. Once a coach gets to the goalkeeping B licence, they are required under UEFA convention to then move across and complete the UEFA B licence. Before entry to this course, they will sit a theory and a practical exam, identifying that they have the competency level to enter this course. If they don't, they will then be required to enter the National C Licence, complete the B Licence before being eligible to complete the UEFA Goalkeeping Diploma. Outside of this, the Coach Educational Department has introduced, already discussed, multiple workshops in the area of sports psychology, soccer-specific fitness, periodization, performance analysis, and multiple other workshops and we in the association are very excited about the new coach education pathway from 2017 to 2020. For further information on the Football Association of Ireland coach education pathway please contact coach education manager Niall O'Regan through his email at niall.oregan at fai.ie.